happy one year for this channel! Woo! Welcome back, you magical being. Ah, one year. Can you believe it? I for sure can't. I'm I an illusion. <laughs> now, originally, I didn't plan on making a video like this. And honestly, I don't really have the time for it. You don't want to know what time it is right now. But still, I thought it would be kind of sweet to give a little update on my plant family. We'll just try to keep it as short and simple as possible. To see who thrived after one year and who isn't among us anymore. I don't know. Disclaimer, just like last year, I'm not a plant expert, just an average enjoyer of some household greenery. So if you ever feel bad about killing a plant and you only have those talented people on social media to compare yourself to, who basically take one plant and make a whole garden out of it, while you almost feel like King Midas, except everything you touch doesn't turn into gold but instead dies, this video is for you. I'm wearing almost the exact same outfit as last year, so you know this means business. We'll do this as a speed run. Let's go! Alex and Alex. What a sweet start. The first Alex, he's vibing. A little bit of sunburn, but other than that, I should probably propagate him soon to make him a bit fuller. The other Alex, though, he got infested by a fungi. That's all that's left of him. Satan. A good boy. A lovely fella. He got quite long. Jake. Still one of my oldest and biggest plants. He makes me very proud. You can't imagine how glad I am that he fully recovered from everything he went through. The golden child. One word. Thriving. They single-handedly redefined the word blossoming. Literally, since they didn't only almost doubled in size, but also flowered. <laughs> Let me see if I can pick them up. They're very heavy. <laughs> You see? There they are. <laughs> Laura. Her and I are not really on the same wavelength, but at least she's still alive. Fiona. Toothless. He's probably the only being that stepped out of 2022 better than he ever was. Good for him. His presence brings me joy on a daily basis. Big boy. I don't know how it's possible, but he didn't change at all. Didn't grow or move an inch. Is he even real? I feel like I could exactly recreate last year's shot with him. He's probably going to outlive us all, looking exactly like this. Phoenix. They have an adventurous spirit. First they grew as if they got paid for it. Then they stopped them. Now they're waiting for the yearly chop up. Don't worry, I'll do it soon. It was just very cold and I didn't want to risk the cups dying. Mommy and Charles. I'm excited to announce that I was able to give away all the Pilia babies. They have new wonderful loving homes now. And speaking of loving, <laughs> their mother plant though. <laughs> <laughs> Someone sure didn't love the winter. Charles, though, he loved it. Lucifer and Lilith. This one touches my heart. Look how big he got. He actually survived. And sure, the scars of the past are still deep, but now I'm certain he will make it. And for Lilith, well... <laughs> Avatar! Ooh. Let's not talk about the fact that this corpse is still hanging on my wall. It's hard to say goodbye, okay? The one and the only. One of them barely scratched the surface of afterlife, but other than that, they're fine. Lucky and Luke. Big three. Well, they are still a cacti. Probably more stable than any of us will ever be. Julius. Same as Dick Tree, still a fluffy boy. Caesar. My man Caesar still having an identity crisis. Can't blame him though. 2022 wasn't just the slapping year of the tiger and the worm, but it also was the year of girl bossing. Therefore, I might have girl bossed a bit too close to the sun and bought a bunch of new plants. There's always time to care for more plants. <laughs> Help me. Anyhow, meet the new planties. Ebony Darkness Dementia Ravenway. If you get this name, I love you, but I'm also so sorry. <laughs> you know, I really needed a black ZZ. And I bought her second hand. Love her. Stephen Lord. Shout out to the lovely people who named these two absolute babes. I'm not gonna give any context. Enjoy. <laughs> Only that I got them for really cheap since... Look at their stage. It is how it is. Pinky. She is a pink oh. plant. On this channel, we take great pride in being creative. Thank you to the friend who gifted her to me. Jeez. The same lovely bean also gifted me this beauty, which sadly isn't that pretty anymore. They really didn't like the spot I placed them at. I'm so sorry. I hope I'll be able to revive them. Nick. He's not quite a real plant yet, but it feels wrong to ignore his existence. No plant shaming here. I had a sweet crochet and paint date with a charming friend of mine. Actually, the one who named Toothless. While doing our fun little activities, we watched Heartstopper and ate avocados. That's how he was birthed and got his name. My friend also has one avocado plant from that evening, and of course it's named Charlie. Gandalf. Since I was so capable of taking care of the last small philodendron plant, 
I bought another one. This time a white wizard. Gandalf. Peppa. Got this as a one leaf propagation from a lovely lady at her doorstep. Back when I still used to work for a marketing agency door to door. And please believe me, last week she was doing fine. I had her in water before that. She was thriving, glowing. As soon as I potted her though, let's just say someone didn't like the pot. One, two, and three. Oh, these three. I adore them. Put them on any window still and it's over. It's so pretty. They're so gorgeous. Green thing. They need to chill. And the new pot. The rose child. Couldn't say no to a pinkish plant. Apple. Got him from my partner. He's just a humble little dude chilling on my desk while I work. Can only recommend him as a workmate. Bunny. They also were a gift. On New Year's Eve. It was a good way to start a year. And that's it. Now I'm not the best with cheesy words on camera, but well, thank you for one year. I won't go too deep into this whole it has always been a dream thing. Maybe another time. But I don't have the emotional battery nor time to get vulnerable right now. Just... Please know all this means a lot. And I'm thankful for every small step of this magnificent journey. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you. And that's it for today's chapter. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more of me. I also have some other social media, so say hello there. I wish you a wonderful day or night, depending on where you live. And see you next chapter. Bye bye.